withdrew their funding in July 2012. The French have raised and paid to the city $114,000 to cover July to December of 2012, $228,000 to cover January to December of this year. For those quick mathematicians, that's a total of $342,000, all brought in by donations. Easy in the beginning when you're saving a zoo to get donations. Not so easy when you're just supporting a zoo. There have been over 500,000 people who visited the zoo in 2013, and we estimate because the weather was better in 2012, there were probably over 700,000 people. Friends of High Park Zoo right now have 22,000 signatures on a petition requesting City Council reinstate the operating cost of 228 to the High Park Zoo in the 2014 budget. This is the equivalent of nine cents per resident of the city. The Friends of High Park Zoo are only asking for the same service level as Riverdale Farm received in the city operating budget. To raise the $342,000, residents have held barbecues, poetry reading, fitness classes, children have donated their birthday money, schools have held bake sales, art sales, and grown vegetables for the animals because they were scared they were going to go hungry because the city wasn't paying for anything. The Friends of Hyde Park Zoo have worked with the animal attendants and opened up the llama pens on weekends and statutory holidays. For a mere $2, as you can see, you can feed the llamas. If you don't want to feed the llamas, you can sit and talk to the chickens. <laughs> if you don't want to talk to chickens,
Now moving into, sorry, Councilor McConnell. Um, so first of all, I'd like to congratulate the community and Councilor on the work that she and Councilor has done, um, as well as in, in collaboration with all of your community. I think what you have done is revitalized. Uh, you have highlighted uh, a wonderful place for children and for families, um, and you have um, you put uh, the life back into the group. And I think. Uh, the friends uh, have come forward and uh, have worked uh, along with actually uh, people at the Riddell and the other places. We've used different models for different areas. Um, and I would suggest that this um, the $229,000 where we're still going to be raising money which will offset who knows what. Uh, we have a, a revitalized group here um, that can't do anything. I'm really pleased uh, that the kind of work uh, that uh, Councillor uh, Gisbeth has put into this, and I think this facility now deserves a uh, full funding. Thank God, there's somebody else. Okay, so I'll be supporting it, and I think that it was a real challenge when these items were coming through originally, and we did a lot for uh, Councillor McConnell's, like the, the Riverdale, and there was a lot of residents that came out, and the Councillor did so much work in her ward, and then there was this one, uh, which um, which was, was always an issue, so uh, I'm glad that you brought it back, and um, I think that bringing it back into operating then the residents, and it's great to see so many supporters here and people that have done a lot of the groundwork and fundraising can apply that money to the capital uh, for hopefully better uh, uh, sanctuary, like, yeah, better exhibits and uh, um, the enclosures hopefully are larger uh, so the animals are treated well and have great food. Um, and uh, we have an added motion that I'll, I'll talk to you about before council because um, the animals at Farley Farm aren't, aren't faring so well. Far enough farm. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to Pam. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we do see our other animal champion. So, um, but uh, that's great, great work and great. I know that you've done so much in the community and in your in your ward on this. And really, it does serve residents across the city. I did hear from residents, even in my own ward, as far away as Scarborough, that do go out to Hyde Park to the zoo. So this is something that really does affect everybody in the city and I think it's a great place for people to go, for kids to learn, uh, to have that up, up close educational uh, interaction with animals, so great work. Thank you, Councilor Ford. I'll, I'll commend the uh, the community for, for working hard and, and coming up for this. And I will be supporting this motion. I do have a concern and throughout the presentation, Councilor Gusset put up that you're looking for corporate sponsors. And I commend you for that. What was concerning, very concerning, is back when the budget cuts were happening in, in 2012, I approached Councilor Gusset and said, I have a, a large corporate sponsor. And all they want is to put a sign, you know, throughout the, throughout the zoo, this sign, this big, okay, this large. And a large, large donation, and it, it's mind-boggling to me why why they weren't allowed to. So, if you want a corporate sponsor, folks, and I am going to support this. If you want a corporate sponsor and say, "Give me your money, you're getting nothing," they're going to keep getting no, 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 no. I don't think it would affect anyone, anyone that went through that zoo if they put up a sign saying "sponsored by ABC, whatever," and they give a big check. It's just common sense. I, I don't get it, but so be it. You're the counselor. I'm not. I'll support your motion. But we'll be back here next year. Well, I won't be back here next year. You guys, some of you will be back here next year going through the same motions. So when, when you decide if you want a big sign, you come to me, I'll go to the corporate sponsor, and I'll ask them to donate this uh, considerable amount of money that is a lot larger than what we're talking about here. Councillor uh, uh, Pasternak. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I just 
wanted to lend my voice to the uh, support. This uh, this motion was uh, was crafted uh, uh, within the budget uh, committee, uh, looking at important uh, community assets uh, that had uh, valiantly tried uh, to raise uh, private uh, funds to uh, meet its operating obligations. Uh, one of the first motions that uh, that I brought to budget committee when I joined a couple of years ago uh, was to provide upwards of I believe fifty thousand dollars in bridge financing to the uh, to the uh, High Park Zoo. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, that motion was defeated and did not receive uh, support of council. Uh, it is it's great to see there's new thinking uh, around the budget uh, around the budget committee, uh, and, uh, and I'm sure this will receive uh, the same support at the executive. And, uh, and at council, I think it's vital in a city that, that is so large that our local community treasures uh, receive the uh, funding they need to operate effectively, uh, safely, uh, to provide the proper care uh, for animals. And that that is really what, what defines uh, our city of neighborhoods. That is defined one of the great parts of the city, High Park. And, uh, and I'd just like to thank uh, my, uh, my colleagues on, on budget for, uh, for helping craft this. Opposed? 